Hi, my name is Jason Matthew from Weekend EduTech, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to create charts in Articulate Rise 360. So let's get straight into it, guys. So I'm in my Rise 360 account, and if you have been following my Rise 360 series of videos, you would know that we have created the Biochem 101 course. So I'm going to click on the Biochem 101 course and you can see the sections and the lessons that we have produced so far. Now today we're looking at charts and I didn't want to get too technical in terms of the subject matter. So we're going to keep it really simple. So I'm going to create a new lesson and it's going to be totally off topic from what this course is teaching. And I'm just going to call it how to create charts in rise 360 and i'm going to click return or enter depending on your on your keyboard to to um register the lesson there so the lesson has been created now we're going to add content so i click on add content and i'm going to choose lesson so once you're in a lesson the blocks shortcut toolbar will come up and if you look at the options here you don't see one for charts so it means that you have to click on all blocks. So when you click on all blocks, there's where you see the, all the different blocks. And one of them coming down to the bottom there is chart. So I click on chart and you basically got three options to choose from the bar chart, the line chart and the pie chart. And for this example, I'm going to choose the pie chart. So that comes up. So I'm going to click inside of there to see the pie chart. Now, if I go to the top left, I can click on the edit button and there I can, I can change the title there. So today we're going to keep it very simple. So I'm going to say the fruits I ate <laughs> this week. So keeping it very simple. Uh, the first item, uh, let's see, what did I eat this week? I'm going to say apples. Second item there is I'm going to say pears and as you can see, you can stop there if that's if, if you only have two items or you can continue with new item and there I can put um, grapes and I can put mangoes and I can keep continuing adding as, mu as much items as I like. Now let's say you added an item then and you realize oops that's not for this graph then as usual you go to the right and there's a trash can there so you can remove an item so just like that you remove the item now for the values let's say for that week i ate seven apples and for pears i ate uh, five and for grapes let's say we ate 30 grapes so as i said this is not the most scientific chart we are building just using some arbitrary values here to show the examples now the other thing you can do is that these are the four colors now if you don't like these colors you just click on them and you could choose any color that you like and as you can see it's changing as i choose so let me choose something that will definitely show up blue so you see the blue has changed it's changed to blue i can change this color as well to the same thing so you could choose any from anywhere here um, or you can even type in a hex code for a specific color that you that you would like to see represented all right and let's choose something oops something brighter lighter than that okay good so not the prettiest pie chart but you get the idea the other thing you can do is if you click on settings and you look at value display now, is it that you want to have the numerical values shown or you want a percentage? Now, for this specific example, percentage wouldn't make sense for me. So I'm going to keep it with the numerical values being displayed on the graph. So I click numeric and I see, so 30 grapes, 7 apples, 5 pears. If I want to close this off, and if you hover over any section of the pie chart, it gives you the full name of that section. So in this case, it's grapes. 
and it represents 30 grapes, all right, and so on. So that's how that looks. If I, I can also click on preview to show you how the, what the learners see. So if I click on preview, this is what the learner will see, just as similarly he, can, he or she can hover over this. I'm going to click on edit to go back to the charts. And there's one more thing I want to show you. So this is the pie chart, but if I click on the drop down arrow next to pie chart on the left hand side there, I can quickly convert it to a bar chart or a line chart. So if I convert it, let's say to a line chart, this is what it's going to look like. Now, if you click on the edit button, you get all the information that you already had, but now you get, you get some other things you can label because now you have axes involved. So you can label, so for instance, the items label, I could give that axis, I'll call it fruits. And for the values label, I'll put number. And if I close this off, you see number on the Y axis, fruits on the X axis. So, so that's to give some extra labeling there. Similarly, I can change it to the bar chart and that's how it looks like a bar chart. So it's pretty cool in that you can you can quickly change from one chart to the next very easily. So please visit our Weekend Edutech channel to view our other videos on RISE 360 and other educational technologies. Please support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for viewing. Stay safe. Talk to you soon. Bye.